Yo, what is cracking, everyone? This is your man, Politic the King. If you are new here, please like, comment, and subscribe. If you are not new, but it's cracking the Kings. We're going to make this video really, really quick, guys. Uh, today, we are going to be updating on the whole Nick Merckx, Call of Duty, Activision, um, I would say scandal, and boycott, guys. Um, so one of the most important things I'm going to start with with this, before I get into anything else, guys, is that I have created a boycott. Um, I needed five signatures. I had to beg people to sign, honestly. And I want you to sign this boycott. It's on change.org. Let's go ahead and take a look at it here. And this is the boycott, guys. So I have created this boycott for Nick Mertz. It pretty much goes through, um, let's take a look here. Goes through everything. Uh, Nick Mertz was banned and discriminated against uh, due to his stance as a heterosexual male. This removed his DLC. And he was against his, his uh, morals that, you know, Americans have the right to uh, teach their kids what they want to teach their kids and that they should leave the kids out of it. We are asking to unfollow Activision from all social media and install Call of Duty. No longer support them financially anyway until Nick Merck's bundle gets back in the store or they make a public post rectifying the situation. Uh, Dr. Disrespect, Tim the Tatman, and others have supported him. So, guys, just sign this petition. This will show that a lot of people are against Call of Duty right now. This will show your support for Nick Merckx. And not only that, for just having a heterosexual stance. Because, to be honest, this is discrimination against Nick Merckx for being a heterosexual male. And this is a discrimination against heterosexual male and females. And the government and the EEOC protects people for their sexual preferences and not to be discriminated against. He was directly discriminated against for being a heterosexual male. This is the thing. So, guys, I just want to go there and show that. Um, but we are going to talk about some other things, guys. Um, and I really just want to talk about this whole situation, guys. This is a free speech issue. Not only just a free speech issue, but a discrimination against heterosexual people, guys. Uh, Nick Merckx, when he had posted this thing on Twitter was just stating his, his, his stance of leaving children out of the politics. What people choose to do with their bodies or their lives are their business. But you cannot force um, a certain sexuality or a certain acceptance to kids that don't agree with that. Pretty much you're, you're saying, well, okay, a kid can be gay or a kid can call himself a woman or a man. But you're saying that if you have a heterosexual stance and you're saying, well, I believe in male and female, you're going to discriminate against people for that, and you're going to take people off of their plat off of your platform for standing for that stance. So that's discrimination, guys, and a lot of people don't understand that. You know, if you go to the EEOC and you're saying, "Oh, well, you know, I just believe in male and female. I don't believe in this other stuff," and somebody says, "Oh, well, you have to say this. You have to say that." You're discriminating against that person. You're discriminating against that person. And that not only might be religious discrimination, but uh, the discrimination against your preference and sex. Because if you're saying that a gay person and a gay person, they allow to be together and they shouldn't be discriminated against. Well, you also have the equal stance of saying a male and a female should be together. And that's what they, they believe in. So um, it's discrimination, guys. And I believe that Nick Merck should probably sue Activision on the basis that he was discriminated against because of his gender identity. Um, and his gender preference and his heterosexualness. Um, so, you know, the funny thing about Call of Duty, guys, in this whole situation is that Call of Duty is a game that is predominantly about men and men fighting in wars and, and men fighting to protect freedoms and corruption. So, why would you attack your base of heterosexual men? Mostly heterosexual men. I don't know if there's any gay characters. I know there was a gay character or a lesbian character in the previous Call of Duty, which was Call of Duty Vanguard. A lot of you guys might miss that. But there was a lesbian girl in there, and it said that she was lesbian and stuff. Look, I saw it. I said, okay, maybe Call of Duty is trying to be a little woke. But I wasn't really against it. If it's history and there was a lesbian person that served, why should we not honor that person just as much as we honor any other person? So I wasn't really against it. I mean, I saw it. And that's not my stance, you know, like I'm not gay or, or lesbian, so I don't really have any support for that. But I do have support for people who fight in the army and that were willing to protect their countries from, you know, tyranny. So there's nothing wrong with that. I have nothing wrong with that. But anyway, 
you know, uh, it just doesn't make any sense for Call of Duty to have this stance as of right now. And I don't, I don't know what's going on. Um, and the other thing is a lot of people that go to the military and they fight in wars and they kill people, they're religious. They believe in God. They want God to protect them. So why would you attack the very thing? Like, this is my thing. Bud White, uh, Bud, Bud Light or Budweiser. Not everybody drinks beer, right? So that's one thing, right? But <laughs> for Call of Duty, this is like young kids, older kids, teenagers, adults, predominantly men. And you're going to tell me that you want to attack that market? And I'm pretty sure like the the, 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 the majority of Call of Duty people are, are heterosexual, no matter what their stance is. Those are the people that you want to attack, and those are the people you want to tell. They can't have a say in their opinion. It's crazy. It's crazy. So anyway, guys, uh, there was another thing. I have a little uh, surprise for you guys. and um, But we're going to take a look at uh, this... Um, this this other stuff, man. Um, I, I want to take a look at uh, Twitter here. So, um, you know, Nick Merce has posted some stuff. Um, Faze Rug said he's a great guy. I put my petition up. It's actually in the comments. Nobody's commented yet. Whatever. Uh, Rumble stands with Mercs. Keem stands with Mercs. These are people that are installing their Call of Duties from their systems. Uh, Rational New Yorker, Hodge Twins. Protect the kids. You did the right thing. Everybody is not standing with Activision. And it's because they're biased, bro. They are biased. It's so crazy. All of this. As an ally to the LGBT, I appreciate what you've done. Uh, homophobic slurs. See, this is even a, a, I think, a LGBTQ person saying that they support them. So, like, this is this is crazy what Activision has done. And um, I haven't really gone on Call of Duty stuff. We we can check it out real quick. I think I think it's worth looking at because I think they've been doing a lot of damage control in regards to this issue. So let's take a look. We're right, gonna click on the post. The boys. Um, some people are saying this is hyped. People uninstalling Call of Duty again. Uh, removing next mercs. Um, you know, with kids getting diddled. So they're calling them groomers. Leave kids alone. Not playing season four until you apologize and reinstate Nick mercs. Uh, funny how a game based on soldiers fighting for freedom centers one of their main advocates and influences on freedom of speech. Call of groomers. Nobody likes Call of Duty right now. And I don't know how they're going to damage control this without apologizing, without backtracking and saying Nick Merckx deserves to have his stance and he's not against the LGBT community for having that stance. Uh, anyway, guys, we're going to take a look at Instagram. I found this sort of weird. Um, I think Nick Merckx, you can limit uh, comments on your post. And this is one of the things that Nick Merckx, uh, here, I'm going to just pause this. We stand with you, Nick. Call of Duty. Stand with you. Agree with you. It says comments on this post have been limited. He probably just got tired of the notifications. But everybody's supporting Nick Mertz in the in the comments here. Nobody's talking trash. And I think that's the other point, guys. That while LGBT community has gotten some, 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 uh, what is it? Some, um, you know, there there's LGBTQ people out there. There's a majority of straight people and heterosexual people and people that support. Look, F them. This game is whack anyway. Stand for what you believe in. See, that's the whole point. We, we live in America, guys. And, you know, like Call of Duty is representative of war and men and masculinity. And why would they limit it? So they've limited a lot of uh, comments on here. I was going to comment and put some stuff up as far as um you know my petition that i have up and stuff going against call of duty so i don't i thought i thought instagram had done that because you know instagram you know they're pretty much facebook and all those other social media companies they're pretty much ran by the government and they like encroach on your freedoms just to let you know so i i use them very sparingly anyway this is the highlight of everything guys so i um the other day i was on dr disrespect stream to see if he was talking about it or whatever I just joined his live stream. I donated $5 to him. And I said, hey, 
thank you for uh for being a stand-up guy and free nick Merckx. and he read my comment out loud and i got a shout out where he said my name so i'm gonna share this with you guys i thought this was pretty cool this is actually the highlight of my whole youtube career to be honest i love dr disrespect maybe he watches this video maybe he doesn't i love you dr disrespect i've told you i loved you several times i think that when you tell dr disrespect you love him and he's like going through a lot of stress and stuff. He really takes it to heart. I think he's a good guy. I think he he's hard on himself sometimes because he's may have made some mistakes in the past. And he has to understand that his platform and what he does, he he's he seems like a very good guy. He seems like a very genuine and good guy. And people see that in him. And and people love him. So I, I love the doc. Doc, if you're out there, you're a great guy. I appreciate you for uh standing up with Nick Merck. So anyway, we're going to play this highlight real quick. Thank you, Richard. Appreciate that. Political to King, thank you for the five. Thanks for being this stand. Hey, I appreciate that, Political Five. Hey, there we go. Oh, my. Political. Now, he didn't get my name right. It's Politic for King. He's like, thank you, Political, for the five. And my comment says, Doc, you're a stand-up guy, yada, 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 et cetera, et cetera. It's really cool. Really cool that Dr. Disrespect gave me a shout-out, you know, even though I'm not like a big streamer or whatever. So anyway, guys, we're just going to go back to this petition here, guys. Um, today is my birthday, if you didn't know. Some people know, some people don't. Some people are closer to me than others. But um, Call, Call of Duty, man, we have this boycott up. I, I want to encourage people to sign it. And I'm probably just going to screenshot this as the thumbnail and have people sign it. Um, so I got some promo time. Once we reached uh, five uh, supporters, um, we were able to make this public. So hopefully people will find it organically um, from now on. But if you watch this video and you want to support Nick Merckx, support this change.org uh, petition. So I'll have the link in the bio. I'll have the link in the comments. Um, and yeah, just support it, guys. So anyway, I'm out. I'm going to enjoy the rest of my birthday. I had a wonderful breakfast, you know, and stuff like that. But I will keep uh, talking about this issue for as long as I can. So you guys just take it easy here, you know? It's man, Politic the King. I'm back in my game room. As you see, I got my piano and my guitar and a random computer that's just been sitting there for a while. But um, I'm very passionate about this subject, and I am very passionate in supporting uh, Nick Merckx in this issue because I love Call of Duty. Call of Duty was actually a pretty good game. It's a pretty good s season so far, ranked, all of that other stuff. But they have no right to silence people based off of their heterosexual stance and their gender um to uh silence them in their voice you know uh some people believe in the heterosexual lifestyle a lot of people believe in the heterosexual lifestyle so there has to be an even ground and you should not discriminate against people um by removing their stuff from the store because they support uh you know kids being heterosexual so anyway i'm out you guys take it easy may god bless your gaming and i hope you enjoyed this video give it a like give it a comment and go to the change.org uh, petition and sign it to show your uh, resistance against Activision. I'm out. Take it easy. Peace.